for this one. I thought, um, so the assignment uh, needed us, wanted us to make a psychic description and create a story that we would like to tell, right? And it was very interesting um, because we had to talk about the current situation in the world and then the cause, and it was very, very interesting. And what I did think was um, the way that I think I did try to create it. I tried to, to make it very applicable to the class and to the thing that they could re relate to, not just the pure story, but also like a story that would be very eye-catching and like very relatable to all the students that are here or, and are going through the same thing. So I think that was the thing. So. I did, I think, I did come up with some outcomes and some values that I gained from this, from that one. And for the crit, for the third one, critically analyze messages. For this one, I think um, a lot of the text that we, we involved in, and some of them, for instance, like the letters that we read um, in this class, were very interesting and the ones that would help, that helped me to critically analyze messages, which I thought was great as well. And the second one, engage in communication inquiry. Um, this one, for this one, the assignment that I thought was very relatable to this one, to engage in inquiry was the discussion about what is normal. And what, and of course, watching a little Nasa's video, um, which I really loved actually, and I really loved the video and the sound as well, and I've been listening to it a lot. But back to outcomes. What I found that the, what was the greatest outcome of this specific assignment, specific discussion about what is normal, was like also like, again, questioning certain things, like what is actually normal, like what like the certain beliefs that the society has like given us and the, uh, and which which are so instilled in us and i thought of this um it actually did make me I, change some of them in my beliefs for instance while watching um the little nasa's video in class it was my first time watching it ever and the thing that um made me question the normality was when someone in the class I believe brought up the point where why do we appreciate arts we do appreciate art and this is a sort of art and why don't we appreciate it because it's not normal right that's what we say but that's like certain beliefs that we have that we want to hold on to and we don't go off that so that was the thing that I definitely um, got a really big value afterwards and the outcome was great as well it, the greatest outcome I think was me more appreciating the art that was created not being judgmental um, being questioned and also like thinking about it a lot like thinking about the ways that it was created why it was created the idea behind because it was, it goes so much into that, and especially Little Nasa's video, I loved it. <laughs> and the first one, employ communication theories, perspectives, principles, and concepts. For this one, I think the one of the outcomes that I got from this one was, um, again back to the socialism, for instance, right. The ideologies that we learned and the readings that we did, for instance, uh, um, the Jasinski's close reading, I thought was very interesting. Where like it so much emphasized the fact that like like being attentive reader and giving like small attention attention to small things that helped me a lot. I think, and if I were to ideologies were great, I really love talking about ideologies in the discussion forum and like how um, one of the things that I did mention already when I was talking about socialism and Lily Kennedy mentioned about it and I really loved the fact of dividing them into sections of like 
sort of like the ones that were similar so that you could see similar um, ideologies that the students had. But um, one of the things that I would revise, if I were to revise, I would probably go back and I would probably divide the people who were in different, like who had similar ideologies to be in a group and to discuss those points. Because I think um, the class then does allow that. And I would really appreciate if like, even if on that time, because yes, there was a discussion forum where we could apply engaging, but I don't think um, it was used as efficiently because for instance, if I would respond to Lily Kennedy, right, she would respond to me, but she wouldn't respond to me much because she was already given her discussion part, right? But I would really appreciate if it was the, uh, if we had an opportunity to go back and um, meet within groups and get into small groups and talk together about the ideologies, like, like why do we have certain ideologies? Um, so that would be great. And the values are great from this one as well. So therefore, I really enjoyed being in this class. I think it was such a pleasure. And I, it was one of the first classes ever that like was very understandable of the fact where I come from without being judgmental and being very understandable of certain accommodation that I needed over during the class. And I really, really appreciate um, taking all of this into consideration. And regarding the grade, um, I would give myself a solid A for the engagement, for the participation, for the dedication, and for passion for this class because I love this class and I would, would love to take it again. And I think there are so many great um, things that I did get out of this class that I would be bringing out to my life in the future. And all the very holistic um, set of videos, readings that were in the class, I think they were all thought-provoking and very engaging that I would really, really love to revisit and re-watch them and um, reread them. So thank you so much for doing that, Kyle. It was such a great pleasure. Thank you so much for taking a whole holistic, different approach for teaching of like going and um, having an emergent syllabus where we come up with things. I think that was also a great idea. And also not having a proper grading system of like quizzes and stuff. I really appreciate you taking the initiative and go, uh, and I know how hard it is as a teacher to step out of that world where everything is uh, based on like sort of numericals and stepping out of that system breaking the chain is always hard but I really appreciate you taking a step forward to do that because I think this is the change that needs to be done with the whole education system and was um and this is a very good step toward that I really appreciate so thank you so much it was such a pleasure to be in class and can't wait to take your class next semester so thank you so much